Hey, how's it going? My name is Jevin and in this video, we're gonna be talking about three of Sony's microphones that are perfect for content creators. We're gonna be talking about the ECM G1, the B10 and the B1M. Now, all three of these microphones have different advantages and in this video, we're gonna explore each one and show you the differences between them. But there's three reasons why you'd wanna choose any of these microphones. And number one is that they're super lightweight and they're super compact. So whether you're on a gimbal or you're out vlogging, these microphones are great to use in any situation. Now, reason number two is that they work seamlessly with all your Sony cameras. So you can just pop them on the hot shoe. You don't need to use a cable. There's no batteries and everything just connects seamlessly. And reason number three is that they're super easy to use. So whether you wanna shoot full auto or you wanna take control and go full manual, well, these microphones have different controls that's really gonna help you get the best audio. If we haven't met before, my name is Jeff Dovey. I'm an adventure filmmaker and I have a YouTube channel dedicated to helping creators make better videos and tell interesting stories. Personally, I've been using the Sony ECM B1M since its release and my main camera for filming is the Sony A7S Mark III. When I'm vlogging, I use the 20mm 1.8 with an ND filter and Sony's Bluetooth wireless shooting grip. And I'm excited about these two new microphones that are even smaller that I can take with me on my adventures. All right, so let's head up into the hills and talk about the differences of each one of these microphones. So the first microphone we're gonna talk about is the ECM G1. And you're hearing the audio from this microphone right now. If you're a content creator who doesn't wanna think about your audio, but you know you want clean audio, then this is the perfect option for you. If you're someone who's out there shooting vlog style content, well, you could just pop this on top of your camera, start shooting, and you don't really have to think about your audio at all. So here is a quick audio test without the microphone on the camera. This is just camera audio. I'm holding the G1 in my hand. And now I've put the G1 back on the camera and now you can hear the difference between the G1 and no microphone on the camera. What makes this microphone so easy to use is that you just clip it into the hot shoe mount and you don't have to worry about any cable connection. It has a digital interface that works with Sony's newer cameras so that as soon as you plug in the microphone, it's powered on and it's ready to start shooting. There's no battery that you have to worry about and there's no cables that you have to worry about. You just pop it into the hot shoe mount and you're ready to go. Also with a digital connection, you're bypassing the camera's preamps. So it's gonna be better audio overall when you're using this digital interface. But what's also unique about this microphone is you have an analog microphone out. So you could use this with any camera that has a mic input by just connecting the cable. So this microphone is completely automated. You don't have to worry about anything when you put it on your camera. And when you actually go in the menu settings, you'll see that all the audio options are grayed out. So it's as simple as put on your microphone and press record. Now with this microphone on your camera, you're only gonna be recording sound to what's in front of you. So it's a super directional pattern. This is the area where you're gonna get the cleanest audio. Whereas when you take the microphone off your camera, you're now hearing audio from all around the camera, more omnidirectional, and you're hearing things like the little bit of breeze and maybe some of the birds in the distance. But when you put the microphone back on, now you get a much cleaner sound for whatever is in front of the microphone. Now this microphone also comes with a windscreen. So when you're outside, when you're in nature and there's some breeze hitting the microphone, well, this windscreen is gonna help reduce all the sounds of wind hitting the microphone. And this is something that I use all the time because when I'm making my videos, I'm typically outside. So this is an essential part of my kit when I'm out filming these types of videos. Now this microphone also has built-in shock absorbers and that's what keeps it so small. So you can see that it's designed to effectively minimize any of the handling noise, which can impact the quality, especially if you're hand-holding the camera. If you're someone who is newer to content creation, or you're just someone who doesn't wanna worry about your audio too much, but you still want good audio, then the ECM G1 is a great option for you. All right, next let's talk about the ECM B10. Now this microphone is very different than the G1 because the G1 is fully auto. On the ECM B10, you have complete manual control over all of your audio settings, but you do have the option to go full auto as well. Now, the ECM B10 is very similar to the B1M, and so as we go through this microphone, a lot of these features are gonna be found on both microphones. And towards the end of this video, I'll explain what the differences are between these two mics. 
So this microphone is perfectly suited for content creators, but it's also going to appeal to more professional filmmaking. So if you're someone that does client work, you're doing interviews, something maybe like some documentary style content, well, this microphone gives you more flexibility and more options to be able to control your audio. And because this microphone is so short, when you're vlogging with it, you won't see it in any wide lenses. But just as the G1, this microphone attaches through the digital audio connection and there is no battery, so the power is supplied by the camera. And there's no cables, which makes it super easy to use. mic works is as soon as you plug it into your camera it takes over the audio controls on the internal menus so all your controls are back on the back side of this microphone now to adjust your audio meters you just spin the little dial from 0 to 10 and you could change how loud the volume is for your manual control now also with this microphone it uses beam forming technology to change the directional pattern of the audio that you're recording. So let's go through the different ways that you can record audio using this microphone and also the B1M. So this is being recorded with super directional. That means you're gonna hear anything in front of camera. It's kind of a wedge shape out from the front. But if I move to the side, I'm now at a 90 degree angle to the camera, you're not gonna hear the sound as clear because this pattern is more focused on recording audio in front of camera. And if I move all the way to the back of the microphone, you hear how little sound you're actually picking up. Because with this pattern, you shouldn't be hearing anything behind camera. So this works super well for vlogging or if you're doing something like an interview and someone is right in front of camera. Now we're shooting in unidirectional and you're gonna hear my audio in the front is gonna sound the same because it's still picking up good audio right in front of camera. But as I move towards the right, you'll notice that now I'm off to 90 degrees from the camera and you're still getting clean audio. But if I move to the back of the camera, now the audio is not gonna sound that good. It's barely gonna hear it. Because this microphone pattern is focused on the front half. So think about 180 degrees in front of camera. So if you're recording like a group of people, like multiple people, and they're not centered right in front of camera, well, this would be a good pattern to use. Now I've switched over to omnidirectional. Now omnidirectional means that every direction. So as I move to the right of the camera, I'm now 90 degrees on the side of it. You're now hearing my audio just the same as you heard it in the front. And if I move to the back of camera, well, you're also gonna be hearing my audio loud and clear. And so if you're someone who's vlogging and you're pointing the camera away from yourself, this is a great pattern to use to be able to still get clean audio, but you could also be in front of camera and you can still get clean audio. The only thing you have to worry about with this pattern is that you're gonna be picking up more ambience from all around. There is a slight breeze coming at me from the ocean over there, and you're gonna be hearing more of that sound because the audio is focused in 360 versus just right in the front of camera. Now, on the B10 and the B1M, you have some filter options. The first is a low cut filter, and this is gonna remove any low frequencies that's in your sound. Now, the second filter you have access to is noise canceling. So, if you're in a super noisy environment, well, the noise canceling is gonna help cut through that noise so that your vocals are gonna be much more clear on the recording. Now, there's one more option on the back of this microphone. It's the ATT mode, and this reduces the volume 10 decibels or 20 decibels. So if you're in a super noisy environment and your audio levels are peaking, well, you can bring the whole recording down by 10 decibels or 20 decibels. So this is a good option to have if you are in those situations where it's super loud. Now, just as the G1, this microphone has a windscreen that's gonna reduce all those sounds of wind hitting the microphone. I'll pull it off for you right here. So, I'm in this canyon, wind is coming up this canyon, hitting that microphone, and you're gonna hear a little bit of that once I take off this windscreen. But as soon as I put it back on, now it's gonna just be super clean. It's amazing how much these little windscreens remove all of that sound of wind hitting the microphone. Now this microphone also has internal vibration absorption and this removes any of the sounds from the camera being bumped or you know when you're walking around vlogging and you're shaking the camera around well you're not going to hear any sounds of your tripod your hand or anything touching the camera. All right so now I've switched over to the ECM B1M and this microphone is very similar to the B10. 
The only difference is that it's a little bit bigger and it actually has more capsules for recording audio. On the B10, you have four capsules on top of the microphone. On the B1M, you have eight. And what that's gonna do is gonna give you more range with your microphone so you can record at a further distance away and it's gonna give you better audio quality. But if you're someone who's shooting more client work or you're shooting more documentary style videos, well then this microphone might be a better solution for you just because you're gonna get a little bit better audio quality. So all the controls for auto and manual and all the filters are available on this microphone as well. And one thing that stands out for me for all three of these microphones is that I can put the camera up to my face so that I could see the viewfinder and I don't have to worry about the microphone being in the way. All of these microphones are super small, super lightweight, and they fit nicely on top of the camera. So between all three of these microphones, there's a ton of options to be able to get the cleanest audio out of any situation. Let me know down in the comments which one you think would work perfect for the types of videos you're creating. I'll see you on the next one.